Hello and welcome to the Ninja Outreach tutorial session. And today we are going to talk about how you can generate leads and make sales with Ninja Outreach. Right here in front of me is the written guide that you can just click in the description of this video if you prefer reading through it rather than watching the video. But of course, if you want to do otherwise, let's proceed. This type of campaign actually works quite well if you are a B2B type of business. Just like us, we're selling our service or our software to other businesses who can use it. For example, marketing agencies, e-commerce stores, and those kinds of businesses. I mean, if you're targeting different kinds of businesses, this would really work well for you. Now, let's proceed. How can you find the leads in Ninja Outreach? There are a few different searches that you can do or you can use for this type of campaign. Now the first search type of search is the promotion opportunities where you can search for the business business websites. In order to do that you type you just need to type in the niche as the keyword for example marketing we're targeting marketing websites who could potentially use our um, our software and I want to include a tag in here that says company to narrow down the search even more. Of course, most websites are um, businesses in themselves, whether they're selling a course, whether they're selling a product or a subscription or a service, they are in themselves businesses. What I want to do next is after that, I need to qualify them according to my criteria. Can they use my, can they use the, the software or the tool that I'm actually selling as for me if i'm trying to sell ninja outreach to different websites in the marketing niche what i want to do next is i want to uh, check out who check out the website and see what they're doing uh, what they're on about so if i click on the first lead in here and it says services they're offering some they're, they're offering services in here yep it looks like they're a marketing agency they can use ninja outreach they can use Ninja Outreach to generate leads, to make more sales, to have more clients, or they can use Ninja Outreach to some of these um, some of these services that they are offering. Content writing, talk about content promotion, SEO, that all that also includes link building, and that's something that Ninja Outreach can do. So this one qualifies. Next one is um, what is content June June top forty two. Check out this one. So generally, that is the idea. You want to find out what the what what the lead, what the website is about before actually pitching to them to make sure that you are reaching out to the right people. Lead. So let's say I've qualified all these fifty in my list. What I want to do next is I want to save them in the list. Now. When you click on save all, you have the option to either save the first 50 or only save those selected leads that I just checked uh, a while ago. And you have the option to either create a new list in the process of saving them, or you can simply choose the list where you want them to be saved. For example, I have a list that I've made earlier, and then I'm just going to save these leads in there to so remember now using the promotion opportunities if you're a b2b business you want to sell to different businesses well use the full the tag company at the top just right beside the search and use the niche as the keyword remember to always check the lead first and see if they qualify because um Right now, as for me, I think most of these guys actually qualify to use the software. They're all into marketing, and they can use the software to further market either their services or the, their content, their blog, or build links to their website. You have to think about the use cases of your, your service or your product and check the leads website and see how they can use it. If that's a fit, then add them to your list. Now, the next couple of types of search is the Instagram and the Twitter search. These two are actually pretty, pretty um, similar, similar. You are searching for in our social database and you are going to be searching for people, not businesses. So the best way to do this is actually to have the, the tag executive on. 
You can also choose to have the, the, the company tag on, but I prefer to use executive because some of them, most of them actually don't include um, company or agency or that those two keywords in their profile, in their bio. So we're going to use the same kind of keyword to target the niche and you see if they are an executive in the niche in, in a specific industry, for example, e-commerce. And if we search Instagram, for those leads, what happens is that it populates those leads with the keyword e-commerce in their bio, as well as any of these keyword executive, COO, COO, CMO, etc. So if they have that in their bio, then what happens? Then, then 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 they'll be part of the search result. So what you can do is, since these are most of these are actually people individuals individual decision maker in the company what you want to do is you want to save them all in your list again either by creating a new list in the process or you can simply save them into an existing list that you have already created like what i did earlier so i'm going to save them all in the list and then that's how you find them in instagram in the instagram search and then the next type of search that you can do here is a twitter search searching our twitter database it follows the same format because these two types of searches again the same. So let's let's search for executives or decision makers and let's use the niche as the keyword. All right, there you go. So we have about 600 leads in here that we can use and we can simply save them all in the list and then continue finding even more leads. Now those are the three ways that you can find leads using Ninja Outreach, but there's another one that you can use and that is actually by using the Chrome extension. If you go to Google and you type in your niche, uh, e-commerce, you will see websites that has something to do with e-commerce. Either they're, a e they're an e-commerce business or they're, they have written a content related to e-commerce. So what you can do at this point, if, it's, if you're searching in Google, what you can do is you can simply right click on an empty space in the page and select load links on Ninja Outreach. Now, before you even do this, make sure you have the Chrome extension installed and activated. If you haven't done that, check the link in the description of this video and follow the instruction that will be given to you when you get redirected to another video, which will teach you how to install and activate the Chrome extension. But if you've already done that, then just simply load the links and Ninja Outreach. And then when you open your Chrome extension, at the top of your browser, what happens is that you will get redirected to the first search result and you can check what the post is about. Is it about, is this website about um, e-commerce? I don't think it's about e-commerce. It's some, it has something to do with writing service, write, uh, writing as a form of service to their clients. But yeah, they can still potentially use Ninja Outreach. But in essence, what I'm trying to say, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you have to qualify the lead based on their website if you're trying to generate the uh, if you're trying to generate people to be included in your list so that you can sell your product or service to them of course you have to know if they are somebody who can use your product if not simply skip them and it will go to the next lead automatically and you going from there you can uh, again check if they qualify now let's say you want to do this at a later time. What you can do is you can save them all to a list that you've already created, or you can simply create a new list in the process. Now, when you click add all in here, just like what I did, what happens is that, what happens is that they are going to be um, transferred to the import where in our tool, Ninja Outreach will crawl the data so you can get the email address, the uh, social profiles and the SEO metrics for you to qualify them even more. But because this is generating leads to sell your service or product to, it doesn't really matter. The SEO met metrics don't really matter as long as they can use your product, as long as they qualify as a user, a potential customer to you, then it's fine. There you go. I've just submitted to the import. It's going to take a couple of minutes or so in order for, for those leads to appear in my list and the list that I've created. So next, let's proceed with how you can create a template for, for your campaign. Just go to the Outreach tab. 
um, hover your mouse pointer over to the outreach tab and then select templates and once you click that you will be redirected to this page and this big green button at the top if you click it a box a pop-up box will come up and this is where you can type in the template type in the name of the template type in the subject of the template and then this is at this part type in the body of your template we have a few um, different um, pre-written templates here that you can check out if you'd like um, and see if the, it's if it's any use for this type of campaign or for any campaign but as for us in the past this is what we have actually used it's in the guide itself it's an example template and it says here and the subject is about influencer marketing because our tool is about influencer marketing and we have we actually got the leads um, we actually have something in common with the leads. What we did is we we gathered some profiles and moss and took their websites and took the websites and those um, profiles, moss users uh, in the community, put their websites in the tool so we can scrape the data the same way that you are actually doing it in, in the same way that you're actually doing it when you're using the Chrome extension. So we got the emails and since we got them from Moss, we have something in common with them. And at the beginning of the template, we we mentioned that. It says here, notice you're a member of Moss community. And I was wondering if you tried influencer marketing as a channel strategy. So that's, that's part of the template. So when you write a template, make sure that you uh, make it clear to them if you have something in common with them. Because again, the template has to have complete description of what you're trying to say if you're trying to sell a product, just sell, say it straight away, what your product is about. Um, don't beat around the bush and just be straight to the point. And don't forget to follow up. So in the template section, going back in here, after you created your template, you can also create a couple of follow-ups because in the tool in Ninja Outreach, you are allowed to have at least up to two, I mean, up to two follow-ups in your automated campaigns. That would help out increasing the number of people who would actually buy your product so once you're done with a template you can go ahead to the auto, auto sending it's the same process just hover your mouse pointer over to the outreach tab and then select auto sending and in a few clicks of a button you can immediately start your campaign just click on this big big green button at the top which is which says schedule a campaign and then in the next window to select the list uh, e-commerce keywords and select the emails where you want to where you want the message to come out to go out from and then select the template now after selecting the template you will have oh actually this template is for a direct email campaign all right let's say you have selected the template you will be asked how many emails do you want this you want to send per day i say maybe around 50 or 40 per day and then you will be asked if you want to send it now or send it later schedule it choose the days when you want to send it as well as the time and also you can select the follow-up templates in here there are a couple of follow-up slots in here so you can follow up two times and then you can check the leads if there is anything missing you can fix it in there if for example you have included a page url in there or say a page title but some of the leads didn't really have the page title on the lead card so it's going to be missing what you can do is you can click this button right here and fix it on this page after that you can launch the campaign it says here one missing field there's no first name that's used there or friend there's no first name i see in here as well so let's see it's there and then you can once you click on finish what happens is that once you solve all those issues you can now launch the campaign and that is it. That's actually how easy it is to find leads, to generate, find business to business leads to sell your products or services to in Ninja Outreach. That's how you can create a template and that's how you can start an outreach campaign. Now, if you still have any questions yet, if you have any doubts, just go ahead and click this chat bubble over to the lower right of your screen and send us a message and we'll try to reply back as soon as we can. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining me in this day's Ninja Outreach tutorial. Again, my name is Aris, and do have a nice day. Bye.